Akiba Backup for WordPress is a plugin to help you to easily backup, restore and transfer your websites. In this lesson we will be installing the free version of Akiba Backup for WordPress into our websites. Akiba Backup for WordPress Core installs like any WordPress plugin. Go to the plugins and select Add New. Now, in the search box, enter Akiba and you will find the plugin we want. Click on Install Now and Confirm. Once the plugin has been installed, click to activate the plugin. You can now see Akiba Backup for WordPress in our list of installed plugins, and on the left hand menu, you will see a new link directly to Akiba Backup. Depending on your screen size, you might find it easier to collapse the left hand menu. We can see several options here, but the first thing we need to do is to run the configuration wizard. Akiba Backup for WordPress is now testing your site and calculating the best settings for your individual website. It is important that you remain on the screen until the wizard has completed. Once the wizard has completed, you are ready to complete your first backup. Let us go ahead and do that right now. You can see a warning message here that we are using the default directory for backups. This is perfectly normal and unless you change the directory in the configuration, this message will appear. As we can see, a Kiva Backup for WordPress will store some information each time we make a backup. By default, it creates a description of the backup, stating the time and date that it was taken. And you can optionally include an additional comment, perhaps stating that you are doing this backup before installing another plugin. For now, I'm going to leave that blank and just click Backup Now. The backup process has now started. It is important that you do not browse to any other page until the backup has completed. Once the backup has completed successfully, you should click on Manage Backups. Here we can see the backup has taken place, with the description, a status of OK, the size of the backup, and a link to the actual backup file itself. Depending on your configuration, there may be multiple parts. A backup kept on your website is as useful as a set of spare keys stored inside your house, so it is important you download the backup from your website to your own computer. You can do this simply by clicking the link and confirming. Once you have downloaded the backup, you can, if you want, delete the backup file from your website. Perhaps you are short of space on your hosting account. You can do this by selecting the backup here and then clicking Delete Files. You will see there is another option called Delete. This will delete the complete record that a backup took place. I prefer to keep that record and will just click Delete Files. We can see now that the record is still here, but the backup file itself has gone. We have now created our first backup with Akiba Backup for WordPress.